Good morning, Mets. It's time for another one. It's time for a staycation set up. Our guy, Brandon. Now, he thinks his girlfriend might be cheating because she keeps getting flowers delivered to their apartment. That might be a problem, Brandon, if it's not from you. Yeah, I'm, that's why I'm calling you guys. Uh, something's definitely up, and I want to get to the bottom of this. Okay, so how long has this been happening? I know exactly how long it's been happening. I want to tell you how I found out it's been happening. So I had a week off from work a little while ago, and one day I did a flower delivery to the apartment, and all the card had on it was this plunger emoji. It was super weird. I thought it was a mistake. Did you say a plunger <laughs> emoji? Yeah, like it didn't say to from anything. Like you opened okay. the card, it was literally a plunger emoji. That was it. Huh. Okay. Plunge away. Wait, I'm, I'm familiar. Does that mean anything? I'm thinking maybe he's a plumber and she's his best customer. I don't know. Or he wants her to clean his pipes. <laughs> Am I right? God. No. Okay. So anyway, so you're getting these flowers and you don't know where they're coming from and they have this plunger. Is it just yeah. one time? Well, that's the thing. I thought, I mean, something that weird, I figured it would just be a one-time mistake. But I sent it back, like, two days later, it happened again. So I asked the delivery person what was going on. They said they didn't know, but they said this address had been getting regular deliveries for at least three months. Oh, wow. I asked Sylvia about it when she gets home. And, like, I don't, before I could even, like, ask her, she sees the flowers, and she just immediately panics. She starts saying, oh, this has to be a mistake. We have to return the flowers. Someone's out there probably missing it. And I said, yeah, of course, because I've never received flowers like this. Have you? And she said, no, I know she's lying. And I don't know why she's lying. And she won't like fess up to anything to me. So I'm hoping with this, I can either like find out nothing's going on or I can at least catch her in the act. Now, talking to the ladies here on the show, you guys told me that certain types of flowers have different meanings, right? right? Absolutely. What, yes. what kind of flowers were they? Oh, uh, like roses and lilies, you know, I mean, they seem like oh. romantic type of flowers, not just decorative. It was very much like, it seems like it was Valentine's Day every day they were wow. coming. That's romantic, right, guys? I yeah, mean, it, it sounds is. romantic, but it also sounds a little bit crazy. Maybe this is like a secret admirer <laughs> that she can't shake off. Huh? And huh? so she's trying to like not make you worried by letting you know how much she doesn't care and pretending that they're not for her. But even if that's the case, I just want her to tell me so I yeah. can help her with it if if she has a stalker or something, I would like to, you know, be in on the loop. Maybe you get some free stuff out of it, too. You know what oh I mean? Oh, my God. You try to or holler. maybe you could just have a faithful relationship, <laughs> which is what we're hoping for. So, Brandon, tell you what. Go ahead and cross your fingers for us. We're going to find out what's going on with your girlfriend. We're going to do the staycation setup. Offer her the free romantic weekend stay and see who she brings as her guest of honor. The only name should be yours. But is there anybody you might be suspecting she's cheating on you with? I mean, the only thing that can, I can really reasonably think of is, you know, there was that plunger emoji. So I don't know if it would be like, because we had our pipes worked on a while ago with a plumber. So, yeah, so but it's so weird to me. Like, why would she be like, cheat on me with like some plumber? I don't know. Plumbers make a lot of money. Yeah, they do. Plus, do they really? Yeah, yeah they, they plumbers are. make a lot of money. if he's good looking. I mean, okay, why not? Okay, he doesn't need to hear that I right would. now. <laughs> I'm trying to get that plumber's crack. You feel me? What? Oh, my God. Okay. Joey. We're, we're if it was a girl, back, obviously. It is a staycation <laughs> set up, and that is coming up next with the morning mess. Sometimes you got to risk it. Nope. To get that plumber's biscuit? No. <laughs> okay, it's your morning mess inside staycation setups. So, listen, we talked to Brendan. Obviously, if your person's receiving flowers and at this point roses. Now, Brendan, did you say this was like monthly or weekly? How often is your girlfriend getting roses sent to your apartment? I mean, I was home from work for a week and she got two deliveries. And when I asked the delivery guy, he said it's been going on for three months. So, he yeah. Snitches. Right. He's be telling you that information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a right. snitch, though, right? <laughs> Wait, does he live there with her? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's totally his business. <laughs> I mean, what if the flowers are for you? I just want some answers, yeah. Right, and you look at the card, and there, what kind of an emoji was it? A plunger, like a toilet plunger. Toilet plunger. Weird. I'm so out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know what that means. He's helping her when she's Clean out the out pipes or something. Or okay. Mail. Listen, you know, we're going to do the staycation <laughs> setup. We're going to uh, call her up, offer a free romantic hotel stay, ask her who she wants to put on that reservation. Hopefully she says your name, Brendan, and I have to ask her what the deal is with this damn plunger emoji. I have to find out what the hell Do you have like. to? I have to. Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell? That's okay. going to keep me up at night. All right. Y'all ready? So, yeah. Uh, hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Sylvia? Uh, 
Hello, hi, Sylvia. Hi. This is Jonathan calling from the Aurora Hotel. Are, are you having an issue with your phone? Oh, oh, sorry. No, I thought I I didn't realize. Sorry, I, I didn't think you were live. Yeah, um, yeah, no, you know, I just don't. I don't have any time, so just take me off your call list. Thanks. I can do that for you, and I'm so sorry if this is a bad time, but I just wanted to let you know that you are the winner of our free romantic weekend stay here at the Aurora Hotel. We'll put you up in a penthouse suite with a honeymoon package. I don't. I don't have any money for that right now. That's totally okay. So actually, the great part is is that this is free, no deposits, fees, or taxes. We just need a review of your experience on Google and Yelp. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm looking at everything here with your reservation, and it looks like everything is completely free for you. We just have to go through your reservation and answer a couple questions, if that's okay. Okay, I guess. Yes. Okay, Sylvia, thank you so much for that. We will go over all your details right now with this free romantic weekend stay. We start off with a personalized note. So it goes to your guest of honor, okay? You have like a little space in there to write your guest of honor, whatever kind of message you'd like to set the mood for your weekend. Let me know whatever you'd like to write in there. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, I guess you could do, <laughs> I guess you could do, I, you don't have to do any work in here, babe. <laughs> I have that down. So now my next question for you, Sylvia, is who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Yeah, you can um, put down Nicholas. The f***ing plumber? Are, are you f***ing <laughs> me right now, Sylvia? Hey, Sylvia, we have to legally let you know you're live on the radio. Your man Brendan called our radio show with a morning mess and... Um... Oh, no. Yes. What? <laughs> you got caught cheating on me. Everyone knows you're full of right now so just that <laughs> well that's why she needed a plumber certainly yeah. loosen them pipes out am okay. i right okay okay look look it's innocent he has a crush on me i i i should have told you it was just a hassle innocent. i didn't want you to innocent. Flip out. that's why you're taking him to a hotel for a romantic getaway that's innocent I, okay look this is the thing so there was a thing one day when i was watching him work and it, it was just like a quick connection thing and it was silly and there was like a little kiss and it's embarrassing, but like it's look, I, look, I, look, I'm, you're look serious. I, I just, I freaked out. I freaked out. Like, I've been I ignoring him. I, I don't want to see, I don't want to see any of your in my apartment when I get home. Okay. I want you gone. And you know what? I'm glad that you wanted to get away for the weekend at a hotel because you're going to need one. Bye. Oh, oh wow. wow. Sylvia. Sylvia. Hello, girl. So I think it's safe to say that you're not in a relationship anymore. I just, it, it, I didn't even, like, ask for it. It just, like, started, it, like, out of nowhere. He was just how does this, how does it start? Because literally, this sounds like an adult movie that I'm a fan of. Got Plum and Plumber. But, so, <laughs> this guy's fixing your pipes, and you have a look at him, and then just, you guys start, like, how does it, you guys just start making out? I mean, kind of, it wasn't, like, heavy. It was just, like, innocent, you know? But it's not innocent, because you, you were yeah. in a relationship. I mean, I guess. Sometimes you just can't, like, help it, you I know? But I just, it, uh, I don't want to make a big deal out of it. Can we be honest? Obviously, you're not in a relationship at this point. Right. Are you going to call this plumber and, and have him snake your drain? Oh, my God! <laughs> what? Joey. What? That's that a plumbing is... term. No, it isn't really. I mean, it is, but it's inappropriate still, especially for this circumstance. Are you, though? I mean, I guess. I might as well. Yeah. Oh, my Sylvia. God. This is so <laughs> weird. You got to do it. Sometimes you got to risk it. A snake to drains biscuit. <laughs> what? I don't even <laughs> know what I just said. Disgusting. <laughs> But you know, you know what they say, Sylvia. The best way to get under somebody is to get under somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, I need a nap. Yeah. The best way to yeah, get over somebody true. is to get under somebody. Am I right, Sylvia? I, I don't, I feel bad, but I don't know. The guy's been really nice to me. Right. You got a free plumber out of it. All right. I've been going around my apartment just clogging stuff on purpose at this point. Joey, it's so free out of it. What do you, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Sylvia, one more question. Who was better? God. Honestly. I mean, I guess the plumber. The plumber. Yeah, that's what I thought. Who do you think Snake will... <laughs> it's better for your drain. Why okay, so girl, hold on right there. <laughs> we're we're going to get you to stop talking to Joey. <laughs> the Morning Mess.